the gallbladder meridian of foot shell yang. The gallbladder meridian starts from the outer canvas of the eye, goes back and forth the head on the side, and then run lateral to the body, all the way down to the back leg, and finishes at the fourth finger of the back leg. The important acupoints are GB1, GB2, GB20, GB21, GB24, GB29, GB30, GB33, GB34, GB36, GB40, and GB44. The gallbladder meridian starts from the outer canvas at the border of the orbital margin. And goes to GB2 in front of the ear. And goes to GB20 at the neck. And goes to GB21 on the shoulder. And goes to GB24 on the chest. And goes to GB29 cranial to the greater trachanter of the femur. And goes to GB30 caudal to the greater trachanter of the femur. And then it goes outside along the femur and goes to GB33, depression dorsal to the lateral condyle of the femur. And goes to GB34, anterior inferior to the fibula head and goes down along the leg and goes to GB36, GB37, GB38, GB39, and goes to GB40, anterior inferior to the external malleolus. And then it goes to GB41, where the fourth and the fifth metatarsal bones diverge and ends at lateral side of the fourth finger at the base of the nail. The gallbladder meridian starts from the outer canvas at the border of the orbital margin. And goes to GB2 in front of the ear And goes to GB20 at the neck. And goes to GB21 on the shoulder. And goes to GB24 on the chest. And goes to GB29, cranial to the greater trachanter of the femur. And goes to GB30, caudal to the greater trachanter of the femur and goes to GB33 at the lateral condyle of the femur. And goes to GB34, anterior inferior to the fibula head. And then there is a lineup of GB36, GB37, GB38, GB39, down to the external malleolus.
and then goes by the external malleolus. And in between the fourth and the fifth me metatarsal bones, and ends at the lateral side of the nail of the fourth finger. GB1 is at the outer Kansas at the border of the orbital margin. It is at the depression. GB1 is at the outer Kansas at the border of the orbital margin. Here is GB1. GB1 is at the outer Kansas at the border of the orbital margin. Next is GB2. In front of the ear, there is a bump called the tragus, and underneath the tragus, there is a notch. In front of the notch, you locate GB2. GB2 is in front of the intertragic notch. In the bone specimen, you have the ear here. On the ear, there is a bump called the tragus, and underneath the tragus, there is a notch. In front of the notch, you locate GB2. Here is GB2. GB2 is in the depression in front of the intertragic notch, which is formed below the tragus. The depression in front of the intertragic notch, here is GB2. Next is GB3. It is in the depression above the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic arch. It is arch shaped. GB3 is in the depression above the zygomatic arch. GB3 is in the depression above the zygomatic arch. This is the zygomatic arch and it is in the depression above the arch. Next is GB20. GB20 is in the depression medial to the cranial margin of the atlas wing. GB20 is in the depression a little inside the cranial margin of the atlas wing. GB20 is in the depression a little inside the cranial margin of the atlas wing. Next is GB21. GB21 is at the midpoint on the line connecting the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra on the acronym.
GB21 is at the midpoint on the line con connecting the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra and the acromion. GB21 is at the midpoint on the line connecting the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra and the acromion. The seventh cervical vertebra is where the neck meets the trunk. We'll take this point as the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra. The chromium is on the scapula. Here's the shoulder joint. Find the scapula and then you'll be able to find the chromium. GB21 is at the midpoint on the line connecting the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra and the acromion. Next is GB24. GB24 is on the seventh intercostal space on the nipple line. You count the ribs from the back. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, seventh intercostal space on the nipple line. There you have GB24. GB24 is on the seventh intercostal space on the nipple line. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, the seventh intercostal space on the nipple line, you have GB24. GB24 is on the seventh intercostal space on the nipple line. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. The seventh intercostal space on the nipple line, you have GB24. Next is GB25. GB25 is at the tip of the 13th rib. GB25 is at the tip of the 13th rib. GB25 is on the 13th rib. It is at the tip of the last rib. Next is GB29. GB29 is in the depression cranial to the greater trochanter of the femur. GB29 is in the depression cranial to the greater trochanter of the femur. GB29 is in the depression cranial to the greater trochanter of the femur. Next is GB30. GB30 is in the depression caudal to the greater trochanter of the femur. GB30 is in the depression caudal to the greater trochanter of the femur. GB30 
GB30 is in the depression caudal to the greater trochanter of the femur. Next is GB31. GB31 is at the midpoint on the line connecting GB30 and the lateral condyle of the femur. GB31 is at the midpoint on the line connecting GB30 and the lateral condyle of the femur. GB31 is at the midpoint on the line connecting GB30 and the lateral condyle of the femur. GB33 is in the deep depression above the lateral condyle of the femur. GB33 is in the deep depression above the lateral condyle of the femur. GB33 is in the deep depression above the lateral condyle of the femur. Next is GB34. GB34 is anterior inferior to the fibula head. This is the tibia, this is the fibula, and here is the fibula head. Anterior inferior to the fibula head, there is GB34. GB34 is anterior inferior to the fibula head. GB34 is anterior inferior to the fibula head. Next is GB36, GB37, GB38, GB39. These acupoints are all on the same line, so I'll explain them at the same time. These acupoints are on the line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus. GB36 is on the line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus and at, the, at a point a little lower from the midpoint. GB37 is on the line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus, one third from the external malleolus.
And there is GB38, one fourth from the external malleolus. And there is GB39, one fifth from the external malleolus. GB36, GB37, GB38, GB39 are all on the same line. The line connecting the fibula head and external malleolus. GB36 is on the line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus and at a point a little lower from the midpoint. GB37 is, a, is on the line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus, one third from the external malleolus. And there's GB38, one fourth from the external malleolus. And there's GB39, one fifth from the external malleolus. GB36, GB37, GB38, GB39 are all on the same line. The line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus. GB36 is on the line connecting the fibula head and the external malleolus and at a midpoint a little lower from the midpoint. GB37 is on the line connecting the fibula head and external malleolus, one third from the external malleolus. And there is GB38, one fourth from the external malleolus. And there is GB39, one fifth from the external malleolus. These acupoints are all on the same line connecting the fibula head and external malleolus. Next, I'll explain GB40, GB41, GB43, GB44. GB40 is a depression anterior inferior to the external malleolus. And GB41 is proximal to the fourth and fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint. It is where the fourth and fifth metatarsal bone diverge. Next is GB43. GB43 is distal to the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Next is GB44. GB44 is on the lateral side of the fourth finger at the base of the nail. GB40 is a depression anterior inferior to the external malleolus.
and GB41 is where the fourth and the fifth metatarsal bone diverge. GB43 is on the lateral side of the fourth finger and distal to the metatarsophalangeal joint. GB44 is on the lateral side of the fourth finger at the base of the nail. GB40 is a depression anterior inferior to the external malleolus. And GB41 is where the fourth and the fifth metatarsal bone diverge. Next, GB43 is on the lateral side of the fourth finger and distal to the metatarsal phalangeal joint. The last GB44 is on the lateral side of the fourth finger at the base of the nail. GB29, BL54, GB30 are the acupoints around the femur head. So I'll explain them together. GB30 is caudal to the femur head. BL54 is dorsal to the femur head. GB29 and GB30 belong to the gallbladder meridian. Gallbladder meridian runs at the side of your body. BL54 is an acupoint that belongs to the bladder meridian. GB29, BL54, GB30 are the acupoints they would like to memorize together. GB29, BL54, GB30 are the acupoints around the femur head. GB29 is cranial to the femur head. GB30 is caudal to the femur head. BL54 is dorsal to the femur head. GB29, BL54, GB30 are the acupoints around the femur head. GB29 is cranial to the femur head. GB30 is caudal to the femur head.
And BL54 is dorsal to the femur head. GB29 and GB30 belong to the gallbladder meridian that runs along the side of your body. BL54 is an acupoint that belongs to the bladder meridian that runs all the way from the back. <laughs> 